Well, Milan, uh, welcome to Chesterfield. How does it feel to sign for the club? Uh, it's been a pleasure to sign for the club. Like, very excited to get going, get started. So, just happy I'm here now. So, I always knew it was interest. Plus, I worked with Pembo already at Kidderminster, so um, called me, uh, spoke to me a bit, and then was happy to get in. The fact that you played under the manager before, uh, how big a factor was that in your signing? It was a big factor. Uh, when I was a kid, he made me a better player. So when I um, heard that he wanted me, then it was a no-go. I had to be under him again. How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, physical, good passer. Mm, yeah, that's it. And uh, you're at Bermuda International as yeah. well, so how much has that added to your game, the fact that you played international football? It added a lot to my game because I've played against some top teams, Panama, Mexico, uh, Costa Rica, so I made my football much better. And what do you know about Chesterfield? Uh, not much, but I used to have a friend that used to play for here, so kind of... He told me a little bit about it. I'm guessing that was Rai, was it? Yeah, that's Rai, yeah. So he told me a little bit about it, so it was, it's been good. And what are your thoughts as you, we prepare for the new season? My thoughts are to come in, give the best that I've got. And what's the ambition for this season? Get promoted. Yeah, help the team get promoted and just kick on from there. He's a player that I've uh, obviously I've worked with before. He's a player who has a massive potential, um, and you know, a player that will you know I feel will make a, a difference to us as a team. How would you describe Milan's qualities? Um, he's he's quite dynamic. He's he's, he's six foot four. Um, he can run. He, you know, he's got he's got pace. He's got energy. He's technically, he's uh, he's good. You know, he'll he'll make a difference to us in that department. Um, and he's quite laid back. He's quite you know off off around the the the, the ground and off off the pitch. He's actually um, quite laid back. Not a lot phases him. So again, you know, playing at a club of this stature, um, th there comes a pressure to that. And I'm sure he's got the characteristics to be able to deal with it. And it is as much about the character of a player as it is about their playing ability. Yes, and uh, I've got to think about the players that are still here. We, we, you know, I want to have a, a certain dynamic to the group. Um, you know, I want us to have a good camaraderie and I want it to be a good dressing room. And um, he'll certainly en enhance what, what we're trying to, to achieve, um, certainly for the coming season. And Nathan Tyson has already been signed. If, uh, extended Tom Denton's stay so how do you feel that things are shaping up well they're shaping up well I think I mean obviously we, we've been in a it, it's total unbelievable different circumstances we've been in um, you know a lockdown for you know almost five months you know um, and at the time I had you know I think it was nine players and wondering what, what the situation was going to be. You know, obviously with the, with the, with the owner, you know, a new owner, that, 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 that changing. It was just, I, I had no idea what was going to happen. So, you know, to get through that and, and now being able to, to, to put the squad together, um, I don't have a huge budget. I'm not bothered about that. You know, sometimes it's, you know, with, with signings, it's, it's better the devil you know. Um, and... You know, I know what I want. I know what I know. I want to see. I know what I want the group to be. I know what the dynamics I want to to, to put together, and and these players um, fit that criteria. And the players that set to return to pre-season training as well. Yeah, we're, um, we're 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 back in tomorrow. Obviously, we've got to to phase it. So we're in phase one. So we're very small groups, non-contact. Um, and we've got to do that. I think it's for the first 12 to 14 days. You know that's that's been changing as we've been going. But you know we're looking at it maybe 14 days, and then we'll go then to phase two. So you know we we did have um, a game that we, we'd organised to go into, but you know obviously with the phase and, and now we've got to bring everybody back 
we're uh, we're going to have to be very careful, you know, that we we stick to all the guidelines and uh, and, and do it as professionally as we can. And the fixtures for the new season will be released shortly, so uh, that's a time when you really feel as though you're preparing solidly for the uh, big kickoff. Yeah, well, I've been you know, I've, I've been in contact with the players all the way through lockdown, and um, they're chomping at the bit. You know, they they can't wait to get back in, uh, which is good for me. Um, um, it'd be nice to see them all. You know, we we did manage to get them, you know, in in little groups together. Uh, you know, a couple of months ago, uh, to go through some bits and pieces with them, but it would be, it'd be nice for me to, you know, to see them all and uh, and certainly get them together in in small groups and and then start preparing them for for what will be a tough season ahead.